My eyes are green Cause I eat a lot of vegetables It don't have nothing to do with your new friend My eyes are green Cause I eat a lot of vegetables The garden is bursting with life. The flowers are starting to bloom and I'm so, so thrilled about it. Our chicks are coming outside and getting some fresh air. We have a temporary home for them when they come outside in this cage here. And we're working on their chicken coop and I'll show you the chicken coop build in another video. My friend of orders are bursting with life and I'm so excited about it, guys. My sweet williams are starting to bloom. And I love this beautiful pink color. And intermingled with them, I have kale growing in the flower bed. actually the first year that my sage is actually blooming and it smells so good in the herb garden I have seedlings growing and they're growing strong the tomato and the kale Chicks are getting bigger and they are they have lost almost all of their little baby chick feathers. Ooh. So I have been working on putting a coat of stain on the chicken coop before we completely close it up. So it's time to check out the seedlings and see how they're doing. And I have spinach growing right here. They're looking really good and strong. The cabbage is doing really, really well. I have these cabbage collards here. They're doing really well in the garden. So as I'm checking out the garden, I see that I have some carrots that are going to seed. So I'm gonna go ahead and harvest some of my carrots and have a little garden snack. So as I wash my carrot off, I am going to go ahead and feed some to the chicks as well.
this was my first time feeding the chicks outside of their chick starter feed and they seemed to really enjoy the carrots. I did look up the um, information on what I could feed my chicks before I decided to give them the carrot and it said that we could give them some carrot. Huh? The red, red one has a black on it. Yeah, I know. Why? Well, I think they may have some variation in the feathers. Oh. Yeah. So I make sure that I water while I'm in the garden if I notice that the beds are starting to get dry. We do have rain um, in the next couple of days so I may not wet the garden down too heavy but I definitely want to make sure that any seeds that I've planted I give them a nice start. So the key to really getting your garden growing when you've started your seeds is just making sure that your seedlings don't dry out. So if you've planted your seeds, you make sure you water your beds down so that your seedlings can germinate. And once they germinate, you don't want them to get extremely, extremely dry. You don't want them to be really soggy either. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to go ahead and plant my rutabaga today and that's what the seeds look like. And I'm just going to sow these really simply by kind of going in a straight line down my raised garden bed here and I'm going to just about a fourth of an inch into the soil, kind of make a drill down the straight row. And then I'm just going to sprinkle in the seeds. Now I can thin these out. Um, because they're, they will need to be thinned out. They can't grow close together. Um, if I really want some larger bulbs um, or some larger roots. Um, so I have to make sure that I thin them out so that they can get a lot bigger. So growing these are similar to growing like where your turnip root, your turnips, or your beet root, your radishes, and um, carrots is similar. To the same procedure you don't want these to be too crowded out some of them can grow closer together but if you want a really large rutabaga or some of you call it swede you may want to definitely space them out as the seedlings emerge and give them some space in between i would say they would at least need about four inches to five inches of space between each plant So when we're gardening in the garden, our hands get really dirty and icky and so I'm just going to run inside and give my hands a nice wash. So I'm going to use our soap today which is called Gardener Soap. This soap is part of our botanical collection. The Gardener Soap is absolutely fantastic you guys. It smells like lemons. It has lemon essential oils and tangerine essential oils. It also has coffee for exfoliating and really scrubbing off all that dirt and grime. I really love the Gardener soap. It smells absolutely amazing. It has a great lather 
and it is really really luxurious it has the luxurious oils and butters that are good for your hands as well so this soap will not only smell good get the dirt off but it'll also nourish your skin So here is what our gardener soap looks like. This is a full bar and it is dressed on top with chamomile flowers and it smells absolutely amazing. I love this soap. I think this may be my favorite one so far. You'll be able to purchase this soap if you're interested in this soap as soon as our store launches. Oh, you ready? Tell everybody bye. Say bye. Bye bye. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, you guys. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.